Hi, welcome to Aviation and ATC Keep Educating Yourself series. Today we will discuss airport operations, understanding the airport management. In the early days of aviation, aircrafts were light, slow and operated in good meteorological conditions. They could operate out of grass strips and a small hangar was the only ground facility required. Airside. As aircrafts became faster and heavier and as the need for reliability increased, hard surface runways had to be constructed. Eventually, these runways were equipped with edge lighting to allow flights to operate in reduced visibility conditions or at night. As the density of traffic increased, especially on and around airports, some sort of order had to be instituted to keep flying safe. Air traffic control was created, first in the form of control towers, with the responsibility to prevent collisions on the ground and in the air, near airports, and to provide a smooth flow of traffic. A new way of flying aircrafts had to be devised. It was called instrument flight rules. Under these rules, pilots do not fly their aircraft by visual reference to the ground, nor do they maintain adequate separation from other aircrafts visually. Instead, they fly along well-determined air routes, called airways. They are defined by ground-based radio beacons. In-flight separation is ensured by a central air traffic control agency that keeps aircraft separate vertically or longitudinally. When flying IFR, pilots also need guidance during the final phase of the flight, called the approach. Various electronic devices provide such assistance, coupled with visual systems. The most common electronic system is the instrument landing system, which guides pilots to the runway using two electronic beams for vertical and lateral guidance. It is combined with lighting systems such as approach lights. It was first introduced in 1941 and it is still in use at hundreds of airports. Thus, airside includes apron, runway, taxiways, hangars, where aircraft operations are planned to exist. Landside. Nearly every air trip starts and ends with a car or a bus ride. However, not all rides are made by passengers. Visitors come to the airport to meet or greet passengers, employees come to work, and delivery and service vehicles can be numerous. These vehicles require an efficient road network, adequate parking. This is done in land side of the airport. Terminal. The terminal building is the place where passengers, luggage and freight change between the surface mode and the air mode. It is a processing facility for which technological changes have been constant and profound. While the first terminal buildings were designed only to protect passengers and employees from the elements, modern terminals are sophisticated infrastructures with almost unlimited amenities. Much of the improvements revolved around security, efficiency and comfort. Large terminals often provide moving sidewalks to reduce walking distance. Computerized ticketing and check-in procedures have become common to speed up the process and reduce congestion. Automated baggage sorting equipment expedites baggage processing and reduces the risk of misdirected baggage. As security became more important, states implemented measures to prevent unlawful interference with aviation, fencing of airports, restricted access to aircraft, and screening of passengers and baggage. Initially a manual operation, passenger screening now relies on state of art technology such as metal detectors, machine-readable passports, and biometric recognition equipment. Airport. An airport is a facility where a transfer is made between the surface mode and the air mode. It is a commercial enterprise whose mission is to provide passengers and shippers with facilities and services that meet their needs. It is a business center with important local and regional economic benefits. Airlines. Airlines are the most visible and important customers of the airport. They also are a major source of revenues for the airport operator accounting typically for approximately 50% of operating revenues. In order to cater to their passengers and freight, airlines need many facilities, normally provided and maintained by the airport, runways, approach aids, taxiways, aprons, gates and many areas of the terminal building check-in ticketing area, hold rooms, office space, baggage processing rooms, they use electricity, 
water and telephone service, they often lease land for the purpose of building facilities used for processing air freight, storing fuel, maintaining aircraft or to park ground support equipment. Ground handlers. Ground handling means the activities required to service a parked aircraft after its arrival and prior to its departure for another flight. Ground handling includes handling of the aircraft itself, handling of its passengers, baggage and freight. Three types of organizations can carry out this responsibility, an airline, for its flights or for the flights of other airlines. An enterprise working under contract for the airlines. The airport operator. The main activities included in ground handling are fueling, baggage loading and unloading, delivery to the retrieval area, minor repairs to the aircraft, cooling, heating of the cabin, cleaning of the cabin, resupplying potable water tanks, catering, in-flight meals, provision of ground power supply, feeding electricity to the aircraft while its engines are shut down, provision of startup unit aircraft engines require a special type of current to be started to icing, passenger and baggage check-in. Passengers. Passengers are customers of the airlines for the purpose of being transported by air between two points. They are also customers of the airport while using its facilities and services. Directly, when using airport roads, parking lots, washrooms, lounges. Indirectly, through the use of concessions, restaurants, bars, shops. Since many of these facilities and services are provided for a fee, passengers generate revenues for the airport. As customers of the airlines, passengers also contribute to the financial health of the airport since they represent the main source of income for the airlines who in turn use these revenues, in part, to pay a fee to the airport for the use of its facilities. As customers, passengers expect ease of way finding, absence of congestion and waiting, cleanliness, equipment in good working order, comfort, courteous and helpful staff. The overall impression of their airport experience will leave a lasting impression. Several international organizations conduct passenger surveys based on these standards, or comparable ones. They publish annual results, ranking the surveyed airports in decreasing order of customer satisfaction. Visitors. There are three types of visitors. Greeters and well-wishers people meeting arriving passengers or seeing off departing ones. People who come to the airport for business purposes. People who come to the airport as simple visitors for the sole purpose of watching aircrafts or general airport activities. Concessionaires. Airports have other important customers catering to the needs of passengers, visitors and employees. We call them concessionaires. Typical examples are restaurants, bars, specialty shops, newspaper stands, foreign exchange counters. They occupy leased space in the terminal building. Although several types of arrangements exist, the airport will normally provide unfinished space. It is up to tenants to finish this space to suit their business requirements. They have long-term agreements with the airport operator, specifying the amount of rent to be paid to the airport, and other conditions such as the level of service to be provided, and hours of operation. The number and types of concessions is only limited by the size of the airport, its traffic characteristics, and the management philosophy of the airport operator. Services provided can be as basic as one small restaurant with few dozen seats, to a huge commercial area counting hundreds of shops. Government agencies. Arriving international passengers and baggage require the presence of a number of governmental controls. Immigration responsible to ensure that arriving passengers carry proper documentation such as passports and visas and have the right to enter the country. Some countries also keep track of departing passengers to ensure that they should not be prevented from leaving the country. Customs, responsible for the screening of goods entering the country, including freight. Agriculture, ensuring that no prohibited plants or animals are imported. Health, ensuring that passengers entering the country do not carry contagious diseases. In addition,
there is often a police presence to prevent unlawful interference with normal operations. All the above agencies need substantial amounts of floor space for the purpose of passenger examination and office space for their personnel to carry out administrative functions. As a rule, these government organizations are accommodated free of charge. Land tenants. Another important type of customers is the land tenant. These are businesses that occupy one or several lots on airport property, usually through a long-term lease. They build, operate and maintain the facilities required for their operations. The airport provides road access and utilities to the lot boundary. It is up to the tenant to connect his facilities to the airport utilities. There are two basic categories of land tenants. Those who are engaged in aviation-oriented activities and require access to the airside, and those who are involved in non-aviation functions and who do not require such access. The first category includes airline maintenance facilities, air freight terminal operators, ground handlers, and general aviation operators such as flight training centers. In the second category, we find tenants who do not carry out aviation activities but who may have on-airport customers, such as hotels and car rental companies, or who may have an interest in being located on airport. These tenants have long-term agreements with the airport operator. They pay rent based on the amount of land leased from the airport. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.